Welcome everybody. I've just hit record. We're going to get this session going. There are five progressions for today, uh, but nothing too hectic. You'll you'll be fine. We'll just start with our warm up. Just walking on the spot. Nice cardio and mobility. A little bit of core work. Hope you have some music in the background playing. Okay, and we're jogging on the spot. Nice and easy. Okay, into the side lunge. Nice big step. Push that bum back, keep that chin up, keep that back straight. Try to keep the feet flat and keep the feet forward. Just loosening up the groin and the hammy, possibly even a little bit on the glute. Okay, and then marching. Again, just hamstring. Legs don't have to be straight. You can have a slight bend in the knee. Just warming up those hip flexors, loosening the hamstring. Okay, rotation. Nice and easy feet fo pointing forward. For today's session, you need your step, skipping rope, and a mat. Exhale into the corner. Okay, down to the side. Right to left. Right shoulder, left foot. Okay, left to right. So just swap over. Slight bend in the knee, don't bend too much. Okay, hop twist. Nice and easy feet together. And twist. Back to the side lunge, feet forward. Push that bum back, keep that back straight, chin up. And again, we don't want that knee going too far over. So nice wide step. Okay, star jump. Remember if you are struggling with the star jump, you're welcome to just step. Next one, shoulder roll, hands by your side, and just roll the shoulders. A nice big roll. Okay, and let's swap. Let's go the other way. Next one's the open and close jump. Star jump. Push those elbows back. Open up that chest. Don't let the hands drop too low. So don't drop the hands too low. Keep them in line with your shoulder. Nice big roll. Okay, and swap. Okay, good morning. Push that bum back, soft knees. Stretch up nice and high. Jogging on the spot. Drive those arms a little bit more. Okay, toes out, squat. Keep those knees tracking through the toes. Keep that back straight. Toe jumps. Feet together. Jump through the inside of the foot. Okay, walking on the spot. Knees out. 
nice and high drive it up and out oh it feels like to be getting a sweat on okay squat again should bum back back straight into the good morning soft knees push it bum back Okay, toe jumps. Jogging on the spot. one just out and up okay and relax okay we've got a one minute can I have a quick sip of water where did I put my bottle okay first exercise is just a forward and backward run then we've got a crab lift we done our hands on a step, we on the floor this time, heel taps, pike, and then skipping. Okay, we skip at the exercise five of each round is skipping. Today I've got a weighted skipping rope. Okay, if you don't have a skipping rope, you're just gonna mimic the, the movement. Okay, first one just a forward and backward run. We've got five progressions. You need a step, skipping rope, and a mat for today. Okay, so forward and a backward run. It's the first one. Start early, you can. It's nice and easy. I hope you started your watch. Some music on in the background. As you know, I can't play music, else I can't load it onto YouTube. Or Facebook. So I need you to play your own music. Okay, we're resting. If you want to in the rest, just keep moving forward and backward. Okay, off we go. Doesn't have to be a far run. In actual fact, I prefer to be a little bit short. So they'll be changing direction more often. Okay, and relax. You're welcome to just walk. Keep walking, keep the heart pumping. Okay, let's go. One more and then we're on to the crab hip lift okay off we go oh it feels good to be moving i remember when i couldn't even do this it wasn't long it wasn't long ago two years two years ago i couldn't even run like this Okay, crab. So last week we just I'll just show you on the step. We done the crab with our hands on the step, which is a little bit easier, okay, because you higher. Okay, but today on the floor. Just nice and high. Good for shoulder mobility. As you come up, squeeze the glute and you're gonna feel the glutes working as well. Squeeze the glute, tighten the core. Exhale as you come up. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. Exhale, tighten the core. Okay, rest. You can try to get off the arms. Nice and 
Nice and high. If you are struggling, go back up on, onto the step. This is the first progression of the five. Okay, rest two more. Exhale, lift. Nice big squeeze. Hopefully you'll feel the hammies a little bit. You'll feel the glutes and you'll feel that lower back. You'll feel the anterior shoulder. Getting a bit of a stretch as you come up. And you'll feel those triceps working. Okay, and rest. Our next one is a the heel tap. Okay. okay, let's go one more. Exhale and squeeze. Hip nice and high. Ah, heel taps. So it's a crunch on your back. Exhale, crunch, core nice and tight, and we just tap in the heels. Okay, you can take the heels a little bit further away from you. Exhale into the corner, exhale as you crunch. Keep those shoulders up. This works nice if you can slide or glide on the mat. So you're gonna struggle on a yoga mat. Okay, rest. If you are struggling, just do it flat on the tiles. Okay, your back's nice and flat. Crunch. You can tilt that pelvis also up a little bit, so tilt the pelvis. Exhale into the corner. Okay, rest, have a nice breather. Exhale and crunch. Exhale into the corner. One more. Exhale, crunch, and twist. Keep those shoulder blades off. Our next exercise, the pike. Hopefully you're feeling those abs, feeling those obliques. Okay, number four, pike. Second progression. Last week we done this one on the step which is also a little bit easier okay today we're on the ground <sighs> exhale as you come down into push-up position core nice and tight don't drop the hips lower and then lift that hip nice and high Feels good. You're gonna feel those shoulders. I'm feeling a nice stretch over my lower back, glutes and hamstring. So as you go down, push that head through. So it's shoulder mobility, as well as that posterior chain of the calves, hammy, glutes, lower back. And obviously the core is working. The core is working because we're in that plank position. And obviously it's a little bit fatigued from the previous exercise. Nice and high. Keep push those heels down. Push that head through your arms. And keep those legs straight.
Okay, and this we got one more. And after this, it's a skip. Okay, same skip. It's a slight progression for me because I've got a weighted skipping rope today. So it'll work my forearms a bit more. Get those heels down. Exhale as you end up in that push up position. Okay. Oh, it feels good. Okay. Skipping. If you don't have a rope, just mimic the movement. This ropes, it's beads. So it's like a heavy. So you end up working your forearms quite a bit. Ah! <laughs> there goes the beads. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, so obviously it wasn't tight and hard enough. Okay, let me get out the rope. Okay, you can skip. Okay, I'll go through that, I must quite a bit. Okay, time's on. Okay, this to have some water. I'm just gonna let this hang here so we can straighten out a bit. My beads are all over the show. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to pick that up later. Okay, that's round one. Round two, we start off nice and easy just with a side shuttle. Just wanna make sure these beads, uh, no progression, just a nice quick side shuttle. Okay, two, three steps. On a chair. Okay. Nice and quick. Imagine you're playing dodgeball. Someone's throwing balls at you. You want to sidestep the balls. Okay, rest. Nice and quick. Keep the movements. Okay. More. More frequently. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Two more. Two more. Nice and quick. We've got some music on, try go to the beat. One more. Okay, time's on, let's go. Last one. Our next one is the bear hold. Last week we done it with our hands on the. This time. Okay, and rest. 
Bear hold, we're just holding the position. So into all fours. All fours, back nice and straight. And all we're gonna do is lift those knees off the ground two to five centimeters. Okay, we're just gonna hold, keep the back nice and straight. If you are struggling, you can put your hands on the step. Still just lift the knees slightly. You're gonna feel the quad, you're gonna feel the shoulders, you're gonna feel the core. Keep that head up, keep that back straight. Okay, rest. Knees off. Two more. Try keep those shoulders directly over the wrist. Try keep the hip directly over the knee. You're gonna feel those quads. Try push through the, the big toe. Don't let the toes fall out. Back nice and straight. Okay, one more. We switch over to the hip lift next. Okay, up we go. Next one is the hip lift. We'll use the step and the mat. It's the side, side, uh, side plank. Okay, and rest. Last week, I'll just show you what we done last week quickly. On your knees and lift and up. Okay, or at least the bottom leg. This week, both legs on. Both if you are welcome to the position, but if you can, lift up. Keep that back nice and straight. Keep that shoulder directly over the elbow. Rest. Same side. Exhale on your way up. Okay, that's when you need that core to be at its tightest so that you can lift that hip. Remember, you can regress down to, down to the knee and lift. One more, thank goodness. Almost thought it was two more. <laughs> I'm feeling my shoulder, I'm feeling those obliques. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. painful but it's okay because pain is weakness leaving the body I think I heard some some sick person saying that sometime <laughs> wasn't me <laughs> lift up nice and high whoops Okay, and rest. Three more of those. If you feel like your arm is slipping, just try and keep it dry. X. 
exhale on the way up. Ooh. Two more. Oh, get off that shoulder. Last one. And then we're back on the skip. Oh, that was tough. Okay, we're back onto the skipping. Exercise five of round two. All, all the exercise fives of each round is skipping. This one's twisting in the sky. Try swap hands. See if that helps. I haven't used this rope for two years. So it's been lying in that one position. Two more. One more. We have a 30 second water break and we start our last round. Okay, and relax. I'm gonna try put this down so that I know which hand must go where. Okay, grab a quick sip. Our first exercise is just side step runs. There are no progressions. We've done all the progressions. So no more progressions in the last five. Side step runs. Both feet off, both on. Okay, and rest. Use those arms. Use the arms. Okay, so it's the opposite. So when the left leg comes up, right leg, right hand. Okay. And then when the right, it's left. Four. 
faster you move the arms, the faster the legs will move. One more. Nice deep breaths. Burpees off the step. So it's still a little bit easier because the leg thrust coming back in got a bit of a lever and stand. Feet out, feet in, stand up. Exhale as you jump the feet out. Okay, remember on this one, if you don't want to jump back, you're welcome to step. Okay, so you can go left leg, right leg, left leg, and up. One more. Have you heard that saying about burpees? Because we're choosing to do this. Some, some advice for people. You can give it to your boss. Tell them your trainer said so. Don't mess with someone that does burpees for fun. They're not normal. <laughs> okay, step runs. Step runs. Okay, left leg first. And again, use the arms opposite. So as the right leg, left leg comes up, right hand comes up. Okay, right leg. Right leg. As the right leg goes up, left arm comes up. On the left. Nice deep breath. Okay, let's go. Right leg, last one of them. Then we're on the reverse burpee. Still off the step. Okay, reverse, so it's like a sit up with a squat jump 
or just for the squat we don't have to jump today we'll add that in next week okay touch come up and stand and again easier because we're doing it off the step also a nice way to disguise a squat a nice deep squat make sure your feet are straight make sure your knees track through the toes as you come up okay so make sure your feet are nice and straight let me just keep an eye on you Two more. Knees straight. And again, I push through my heels. So it's like we're doing that squat. That squat. And we're just adding that sit up in. Which is great because it's confusing the body. The body doesn't know which muscles must contract when. One more. Last one, exercise five, skipping. We can keep that mat, we can get rid of the step. Two more, just two more. Oh, I love that sound of the skipping rope. Okay, one more. Okay, that's it. Well done. I'm gonna hang this one because we've got skipping tomorrow again. We're gonna do our static stretches, a little bit of mobility stuff as well. Very similar to what we all, what we normally do. So if you want, you can actually take your socks and shoes off for this one. If you aren't already bare feet. Okay, it's gonna start on our feet. Okay, we're just gonna loosen up the the ankle. So we'll start at the bottom. 
Can I keep the foot nice and flat? As you drop down, keep the foot flat. And we want to increase the angle on the outside of the ankle. And this way, we want to increase the angle on the inside. So we're just stretching those inner lig ligaments. Probably won't feel this too much unless you have foot problems or ankle problems. But we're going to work them anyway. Keep that foot flat. Okay, and let's change over. Keep the foot flat. Increase the angle. So I've had an ankle opera operation on the inside. So I can very clearly feel this one. On the left foot, not so much, but on this foot, especially there. Just feel it. And it's, it's, you might even feel it over your knee a little bit as well. A little bit possibly in the hamstring okay and relax just on the mat just gonna do a couple of toe rocks just a few we'll do six on the calves now push through the inside of the foot three two and one. Okay, onto the groin. Nice wide step. Same one we do in the warm up. A little bit lower because we're warmer now. And we're going to go a little bit slower. And you should feel quite comfortable, or at least more comfortable, than you do when we do this in the warm up. Push that bum back. I'll just show you from the side. Push that bum back. So you'll see my bum's going back. I'm not leaning forward. Push that bum back. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're just going to do an old school. If you're as old as me, you would have done this in PE class. Okay, we're just going to do figure eight. Legs nice. Eight, and you're just going to take your hands to do a figure eight. Okay, let's go the other way around. Okay, I'm going to do some ballistic stretching as well. We're just going to bump the bottom. We are nice and warm, so we can do this. I would not do this as a warm up. See if you can get your hand flatter. Two and one. Hammies, a little bit of glute, a little bit of lower back. Okay, on your back, just do a couple of reverse crunches. Just do abdominals. Just Stretch out that posterior chain. Okay, cross the leg over. So we're just going to drive. So I've got my right leg over onto my left leg. We're going to drive the left knee up. Okay, you can get the arms up and just do a couple of drives. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whatever you're comfortable with. You don't feel that glute. You're going to feel the lower back. Okay, and you can change. Drive that knee up, exhale on the way up. Okay, and relax, legs straight, arms straight. You can take your feet a little bit wider, nice and wide. And we're just going to keep that hip down and rotate over onto the left shoulder and stretch that right arm up. Three, two, one, and rotate over and stretch. Three, two, one. And keep rotating and just stretch. You're going to feel the obliques. You're going to feel it right down the lat into the oblique, possibly even into the abdominal. Keep the hip down. Okay, 
Okay, and relax, hands by your side. <sighs> Legs up. Oh, in actual fact, let's keep the feet down. Keep your feet down. And we're just going to rotate side to side. So I'm just going to take that mic off of this. <sighs> keep the feet on top of each other. Keep the shoulders down. Okay, and now just bring those knees in, and we're just going to rock side to side. Head up as well, pull the knees in, side to side, and up and down. Okay, and straighten out. Straighten those arms as far as possible, point those toes down. And bring those toes in. Toes down. Keep stretching the arms up. It's going to bring those toes in. And toes down. And last one. Okay. One of my favorites next. Facing forward. Whoops. Knee out. And we're just going to drop down. Just loosening up that groin can go a little bit lower. Remember to keep facing forward. That feels good. My second favorite session of the week is the Tuesday. Okay, let's change over. Push out. Feel that groin. Okay, and relax. Okay, let's switch over into our static portion. Those were all just a couple of mobility and ballistic stretches. Okay, we'll start on the abdominal, drop that hip. Head back. Exhale. We can push back. Sit nice and low, feet nice and flat. Stretch those arms forward. Okay, and just sit on your heels, feet nice and flat. So I want those feet flat. If you are comfortable enough, you can sit here. If you've been watching these videos since we started in March 2020, you'll remember I couldn't do this. It was, it was about a year after my ankle up and I couldn't do it, I was still sitting in this position. Now I'm comfortably sitting here. And I can even go back a little bit. I used to be able to go down on my elbows. I'll get there again. One day. And hopefully we'll get you also there. If you can go lower, go for it. But only if you are comfortable. Okay. Okay, you can come up. Drop that heel. Push that heel down.
you feel that calf stretching from here we're just going to bend that knee my heel will your heel will probably lift up a little bit but just try and bend the knee and you're going to feel it more in the Achilles slightly deeper onto the calf possibly even more on the inside of the calf okay and let's change legs straight leg first drop down if you can drop the hip lower go for it but try not to let that heel lift off the ground okay and then from there just bend bend the knee if you need to go back a little bit more then do that Okay, and relax flat on your tummy. Let's do that quad stretch. Okay, try grab on your toes. From here, tilt the pelvis down. Tilt that pelvis into the mat. and relax okay ah sorry i want to do one more here open up the arms get those heels together knees together and just take it over exhale and push our feet lower again Keep the shoulders flat, okay, down, drop, and then lift the shoulder up. Okay, you can change over. Okay, and relax. On your back. We'll do this one quickly. You're going to grab behind your leg. It's going to kick up. And just try and push that heel up to the sky or up to the ceiling. Pull the toe down and pull that leg in. Don't let your other leg lift. Okay, and rest. Let's change legs. Knee in. Try get that perpendicular with the ground. 90 degree angle between the, your thigh and your body. And from there, kick it up. Kick that heel up. Okay, and relax, take that leg over, drop that shoulder. <sighs> Exhale, push down harder. Okay, and relax, let's change over, swap over to the other side. Get that shoulder as low as you can. Push down a bit. Okay, and that's it. And relax. I hope you feel good. I hope you enjoyed the session. That felt great. Always love having a workout. Pleasure, Anika. Enjoy. Cheers, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, Anika. Bye. <laughs>